one? I found it. I finally found it. Hey there, folks. I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. And um, I've been doing these beatbox beverages for a while. Thanks, Mike P, for introducing me to them. Um, and they had several flavors out there, and I tried to do all of them for you. Matter of fact, I did like four or five in one night, which was a mistake, um, in order to get the videos filmed. But I've been trying to track down Peach Punch for at least a couple of months, it feels like. Um, actually, they released a new flavor, Green Apple, that I found before I was able to get my hands on Peach Punch. So with this consummation, consummation, ah, that sounds wrong. With consuming this, drinking this, and doing this video, I have not only tasted, but also reviewed every flavor that they have. It's this weird, mildly OCD thing. Um, thank God it doesn't affect all of the breweries I like, because holy shit, between regional exclusives and um, you gotta be at the brewery to buy them exclusives, <sighs> I'd be pulling my hair out trying to get them all. Uh -huh. um, but no, it, 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 I try to do an entire set of whatever thing happens to catch my interest and sometimes, sometimes you just gotta let it go because you can't. Other times, you can. So with this video, I am doing the entire collection of beatbox beverages as it exists now. We'll be keeping an eye out for new ones because honestly, They've surprised me so far with how good they are. So, 11.1% ABV. Sorry, I went off in the weeds. They're on my own little personal BS. Some of you folks actually care about that. I know, and I appreciate that. Others don't. They're just here to find out what I think about the freaking drink. Um, 500 milliliters, three servings. Eh, three servings is three servings. That's bullshit. Just drink it. If you get too drunk, then it's too bad. Uh, contains alcohol. Whoa, no way. 11.1%. Call. Uh, Tetra Pack, World's Tastiest Party Punch, try it frozen. Eh, maybe we'll do that eventually, but for now, gluten free and glass free. Awesome. I do not like drinking glass, so <laughs> I guess it's the packaging there. Playing it up. Um, so, Project of Mexico, imported by Beatbox Beverages LLC, Austin, Texas. Contains sulfites premium, premium other than standard orange wine with natural flavors and certified colors. See, that's the one that gets me is the premium, premium, sounds good, but means nothing because there's no legal definition of that term. Other than standard, okay, less impressive, but still not legally defined. Orange wine. Fermented oranges, I guess. Um, made with natural flavor. You know, who cares? It hasn't killed me yet. And so far, the beatbox stuff has been pretty good. Now, they're resealable, but you know. Now, I'm going to say the same thing I did with the mango one. I, yes, I'm going to get to the beverage eventually here, folks. Um, mango and peach artificial flavors don't usually sit well with me. But the mango, one of these, was actually pretty good. So, and I'm smelling sweet fucking peaches. Peaches for you, peaches for me. Right. Peaches, 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 singing about peaches, ninjas. No, I'm not talking about the fucking King Koopa song. I'm talking about the original peaches by the presidents of the United States of America. Watch the video, it's hilarious. Not my video, theirs. I never did a video about it. Anyway, smells like fucking sweet ass peaches. Yep. Better than I expected. Uh, again, going back to the mango thing, artificial mango and artificial peach flavors tend to have this weird bitterness in the finish that just turns me off with both of them. Um, <laughs> this is fucking smooth and good. It's... Um, I 
It's like drinking a boozy version of the the peach juice. You know, you get the old uh, Del Monte, Del Monte, whatever, canned fruit. You get the peaches, the pears. You got the fruit cocktail. You know, like the one fucking cherry floating in there with the the melons and shit. The old canned shit that you used to get in your lunches from your mom. The little little tiny Vienna sausage sized jar cans and you pull the pop top on them that the the syrup that they were canned in it's like the peach syrup but slightly boozy that's fucking good i don't know what to tell you and yes i, I the only reason i segued on that whole thing about the canned peaches and shit is because most canned fruits now are labeled two different ways, uh, packaged in syrup or packaged only in natural juice or some bullshit like that, because, yes, there's too much sugar in the syrup, so. Anyway, there are good reasons for it. But it's not what I'm used to from my younger days. Damn it, I'm cranky about being old. Anyway, <laughs> this is pretty good. It's got a nice mild peach flavor. Again, very slightly boozy, but not overwhelmingly so. And none of that nasty bitterness that I get from a lot of artificial beach flavored stuff. It's it's good. These beatbox things have all been good so far. And I don't know what else to say other than, I guess, peach punch. I'm not getting a lot of other fruit flavor from it. Just a general sweet fruitiness. But, pardon, the peach... It's more pleasant than a lot of other peach flavored boozes I've had. I'm liking it. It's good. You should check it out. Once you do, hit me up down below in the comments or the email link. Tell me what you think of the beatbox peach punch or any other thing you've seen on the channel. Love to hear from you whether you agree or disagree. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Once you're subscribed, click on that bell icon up there so you get a notification when I post a new video. <sighs> Until next time, folks, thanks for listening to me ramble on about anything other than this and give you a very short opinion on how good this is. Cheers.